this collection started off as a hobby about 30 odd years ago. I had a, a Jensen Interceptor, which I kept. It was the first car that I owned that I didn't have to sell to part exchange for the next car, which most people would do. My late father had bought new back in 1952, a Morris Minor, and so unfortunately he departed this mortal coil in 1970. Uh, mother told me she was going to give dad's Morris to my younger sister. Absolutely no way and I have it to this day. So we have now over 420 classic cars in our private collection. Uh, I'm told that it's the largest private collection in Europe. This has evolved now very much. We do a lot of film and TV work with these cars. Several of the notable films of recent times like Mr. Selfridge or Downton Abbey, Luther. But the rest we have such a wide range of vehicles ranging from the oldest one we've got is a 1904 Hispana Suiza which allegedly, and I use the word because one doesn't know definitively, allegedly is the only one in the world. We have a single-seater Austin racing car. What attracted me was on the transmission tunnel is a tortoise shell, and painted on that tortoise shell is a rabbit's face, and apparently it's a world-famous single-seater racing car, raced at Monaco. It's got the most enormous history but I always say to anybody, if you've got any fundamental common sense, then probably buy a basic Ford Mondeo. It will always get you from A to B. When you park it, you do not have to worry about it. As a, a trained engineer, I tend to look upon these, these vehicles really as a work of art.